All right, you ball head. What's up? Obviously today, I'm going to be telling you guys about the three different ball cap methods that I like to use and the three different ways and the three different ways, the, the three different ways and the three different reasons why you should use these methods and when you should use these methods. So number one, the holding spray method. So, of course, this is probably one of the most common ones that you guys have seen all across YouTube, all across Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever. And basically what you would do is just pull the cap all the way down and spray all of this right here. Spray, spray, spray all around the hairline, all around the ears, and then sit under the dryer until it's completely dry. But let me tell you, the reason why I really don't like that method is the simple fact that holding spray contains hella alcohol. So much alcohol to the point where you're not going to have no healthy hair under there if you keep using this method. And the reason being is because alcohol, of course, we already know what alcohol does. It dries out your hair. Anything that's an alcohol product, it dries your hair out. It's not healthy for your hair. So if you wear wigs consistently and you're using this technique, I want you guys to drop it. Please drop it completely because it's not healthy because it contains too much alcohol in these products. These products are simply just for styling hair, like styling your wig, trying to do volume styles, trying to get your hair to lay a certain way. Like this is strictly for just freezing, screaming holding the hair like you do not want to do this on your actual natural hair because if you keep wearing wigs keep wearing wigs keep using this method you're not gonna have no hair under there at all so if you want to have healthy hair under your wigs stop using this method don't use it i mean it's up to you at the end of the day i'm just trying to educate you i'm trying to help you out so the second method that we're going to be talking about but first of all let me get back into that other method that I was telling you guys about. So with the holding spray method, you would be, you guys would be spraying your edges back like that. And then after that, you would literally be pulling this cap down and spraying all of that. Like that's, that's not good for you. That's not healthy for your hair. And I've realized, because I've, I've done this method before. Don't get me wrong. So if you see an old video, if you happen to see an old video on my channel and I'm doing that method, please don't be alarmed because I used to do that method. But as I, you know, grew and I did different things and I experienced life as a whole when it came down to, um, to laying these wigs down, I realized that that's not healthy for you to be doing. That's not healthy for your hair. That's not healthy for your edges. So don't do that method at all. Now we're gonna move to the second method. So the second method that I love to use is going to be the styling gel method. And the reason why I like the styling gel method, most likely, you know, most importantly, the reason why I like this method is not only because it's my brand, my baby, but just because it's safe for all hair types, any hair type, any hairline, anybody can use this method and it's effective and it's efficient. And this particular styling gel of mine, the Stuck On You Styling Gel by Erica J, it has vitamin E oil in it. If you don't know what vitamin E oil do, Pause this video right now and press vitamin E oil benefits on Google. That's all I have to say for you. But besides that, you can use any gel of your choice. It's up to you. However, if you don't decide to use my gel, my styling gel, you can absolutely use the Eco Style Gel, which I would recommend. I don't recommend you guys use the Gots to Be Gel. Like I said, I used to do this method. But when you know better, you do better. I don't use the I don't use the Gots to Be brand like that on my own personal, you know, hairline on my clients because it breaks your hair off. It's so unhealthy, guys. It breaks your hair off. 
that gel and that free spray don't have no type of benefits or no nutrients for your hair. So please don't use that method if you love your hair and if you want to take care of your hair and you, and you love your edges and you love your hair. Don't do that method. So what you would do, you would get the gel. You would get the gel, gel your edges back, blow dry it. And then after that, you would bring your cap up. Make sure you cut holes in your cap. Boom, boom. Get the gel and lay it on down just like that and sit under the dryer that one right there that one right there that one right there now that method is very beneficial but i'm going to tell you which hairlines that i like to use and i would suggest you guys to use that method on you can use it on any kind of hairline but i'm not gonna lie to you guys if you press for time don't use that method. We're going to use the next method that's coming up after this one. If you press for time, don't use that method because getting the, the gel to dry and getting the ball cap to really melt down on in, it's going to take you about 35 minutes for your edges to dry and for the actual cap to mold down. So if you press for time, you're just trying to move real quick, don't use that method. However, you must use this method if your clients suffer from severe hair loss, if they have alopecia, traction alopecia, any of those, like if they just have like a naturally thin hairline or they just have naturally thin hair or soft hair, you want to make sure that you use the styling gel technique only. Because if you use that free spray technique, like I told you before, don't use that technique because what's going to happen you're going to dry your hairline out so bad. You're going to dry your hairline out, your client's hairline out so bad to the point when you keep on wearing those wigs, you're not going to have any hair or any edges. I still have my hair. Yes, my forehead is really big, but don't make it get, don't, don't get confused because baby, I got edges and I got hair. I just was born with a big ass forehead, as you can see. I always had a big ass head and a big forehead. However, if you love your hairline, if you love your clients, don't use no styling gel from God's, like don't use that free spray method on them at all. If you love your clients, don't use that free spray method because if they already have a naturally thin hairline, naturally soft hair, if you are very familiar with different hair types, I'm talking about that real, real soft, that real, real, really, really soft, like baby hair. Don't use that styling free spray technique on them because it's it's gonna dry their hairline out. It's gonna dry their hair out. And being that they already naturally have soft, thin hair, and if they have alopecia or any type of severe hair loss, do not use that technique on them. Please use the styling gel technique on them because it's safe, it's friendly, it's nice and it's healthy for them at the same time. Now, number three, number three, number three, number three, the best one to me. Now, number two and number three go neck and neck and they run neck and neck. They in competition with each other, but I'm gonna tell you the difference between number two and number three. The difference between number two and number three is because if you really want your wigs to last super, super long and you want to get wet, you might be a person that sweats a lot, whatever the case may be, you want to go on ahead and pick number three. And if you press for time, like I told you in the technique before this one, if you're pressed for time, you want to use this technique instead, this number three instead, because it's going to be perfect for you. And if you or your client may want to wear your wig for three to four weeks at a time or two to four weeks at a time, make sure you use this technique. And this just happens to be the technique that I'm gonna be using today. So I'm gonna do it in real time for y'all.
you want to make sure that you do clean your skin off with alcohol not so much your hair but around your skin that's the most important part try not to really focus on putting the alcohol on your hair because like i said like i told you guys it's going to dry your hairline out however if you or your client may be in one of those situations where you do have oil actually on your hairline in your hair Yes, you will absolutely have to go in with the alcohol. Oh, well, hold up. You see how late this gel got my edges? Like, get into it. But if one of those times do occur where your client does have oil, because I know you know some people that like to leave growth oil on their hair, you would have to go in either with alcohol or sea breeze. Sea breeze would be way much more you know safer versus alcohol in the hair so go ahead and use some sea breeze and you can clean the oil out i just took some of the hold me down skin guard and sprayed it on top of my cap you also want to spray this on your skin before you put the cap down as well and what i'm doing now is taking some of the hold me down adhesive and going across my hairline to create this ball cap meltdown install a lot of people have it misconstrued thinking that using this method or putting glue on your edges in your hairline is going to take your hair out, but that's absolutely not true. This is what it will look like before drying and then after drying, it's completely clear. Like I said, it's all up to how you take care of your hair, how long you wear your installs, and what you do when it comes down to the removal process. I do sell a remover. It's like a whole system, the skin guard, the adhesive, and the remover. It's all on my website. And what I'm showing you guys now is saying that you can just go in the back and sew the cap down if you wanted to, but I personally don't do that because I like to go up under my cap and under my wig and scratch my hair. And sometimes I like to oil my braids as well. But you're just gonna go in with the foundation that's your shade or a little bit darker and just create that ball cap look. Usually when you would use the spray cap method, like using the holding spray, usually when it comes about time for you to start to cut your cap around the edges, you guys will start to notice some peeling in these areas and your cap will start to roll back. That ain't gonna happen when you use this method. And I showed you guys exactly how to do it. Then you're gonna take your makeup. You're gonna make sure if you want your installs to last, that's especially if you wanna get wet, you may be a heavy sweater, make sure you're using an oil-free makeup. If you're using a makeup that has a lot of oils in it, your your lace is not going to last because no matter what glue you may be using it's not going to last because of the simple fact that oil and adhesive does not mix then once you start to sweat and then once you start to get wet your own natural oils mixing in with the makeup oils your makeup i mean your install just gonna lift up boom bam so quick one more technique i want to talk to you guys about i have done this technique on my channel a few times and it's when I don't use a ball cap method at all. I just, you know, spray my edges back, make sure they'll make sure they're they're gelled down, make sure my edges are gelled down, and I just literally put the glue around my actual hairline, like my actual skin. That's something, that technique is something that you want to do if you only want your install to last maybe a week or so. If you want a long lasting install, especially a waterproof install or an install that you want to last and you may be a sweater or anything like that, you work out, whatever the case may be, make sure you're using a ball cap method install if you want a long lasting install. If you're just doing the method where you're just putting the glue around your hairline without any cap or any foundation, your install is not gonna last at all. It's gonna last, but maybe like a week or so, but anything longer than that, you wanna make sure you use the second or the third method that I talked to you guys about. And this is the finished results from what my hair came out like. And I did do a tutorial on this look. It will be coming up after this video that you are currently watching. And if you just so happen to see this later on down the road, it will still be in the same order. Please make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time.